What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the front line. Let's get into it. Good morning, Print Fam. It's exactly 10, and the phone just started ringing the second we were open. Thanks for calling Monument. This is Cam. How may I help you? Okay, yeah, just remember, dude, you only have to do half up front, and then you do the other half when you pick up. So hopefully that makes it a little easier for you. All right, Anthony, uh, hit me up. Let me know. Later, brother. Dude, the phone, man. I just, I'm not equipped for this. It, may, it drives me nuts. Thanks for calling Monument. This is Cam. How may I help you? I didn't really start, but I relocated. I brought the printer over here. Uh, and then there's going to be a thing on this wall, and then another big kind of fake pallet rack here, and there maybe will be one here as well. We also decided that we can utilize this space better. Instead of just one sorting table, we're going to have a tiered rack as well, so we can just put stacks of shirts that are ready to be printed right here. Today I've actually brought the thing in here, and I'm going to be personally sewing on hem tags for this particular company right here, XG. Expeditions. And what can I say? We're behind on every job, not just this client, but every client. We've more or less completely dropped the ball on our delivery dates. And I'm hoping that just I fix the press and that's sorted out. But if not, we need to get some new equipment in here. And dude, the press is finicky as fuck. However, I'm hoping that I fix that. And this phone, man, I'm not equipped to deal with customer service. Because I just get pissed. I get pissed and frustrated. And you know, all of these phone calls are because we're behind on every job and everyone's waiting on their shit to get delivered and we haven't delivered it yet. So I dread answering the phone. Fuck. Thanks for calling Monument. This is Cam. I can't help you. Yeah, it's, I mean, it should be there. They shipped that. So did you not get an email with your tracking? Alrighty, man. Uh, hey, dude, and thank you for your patience, man. We've been, we've been tripping, man. We've, we're just having a hell of a time over here. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. You do. Lucky for me, I'm getting really cool clients, but it does not change the fact that, yeah, I've noticed. I don't, it's not that I hate answering the phone or doing customer service. I don't like it when I'm gonna have to answer to people for our shortcomings and our failures as a print shop. That's when I don't like answering it. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. I'm going to be stitching hem tags on these shirts using this singer. Now, to be clear, we also have help. Uh, I have a seamstress that does this for us, but today I just figured, uh, it, she has like this really cool, um, it's not sing, it's not by Singer, maybe it is by Singer, but it's a front-facing sewing machine and it's really easy, the hem tags get sewn on, but you can still accomplish it with a good old-fashioned Singer. And she's busy as shit, I need content, so I figured I would show you me doing it on a traditional sewing machine instead of a, sp a specialized one. Ready, spaghetti? Let's do it. Ah, yeah, no, 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 I can't get it started yet. I got something else I have to do first. When you don't have a lot of help and you know, you're doing a lot of things for yourself, it's very difficult to start one task and see it to completion without getting interrupted and having to do something else. But I had a very important email come through, come through? Is it come through or is it come through? I'm pretty sure it's come through for an event in Vegas for a very special company that I'm excited to work with. So I was just kind of, I'm still buttoning that up. But one of the things that I had to learn the hard way with Pay Junction and with my clients in general is that if, you know, we have a limit of processing where if it's over 5K, we have, we have to request a limit increase. And I know it sounds like a bit of a hassle, but it's actually a safety precaution when you process online orders. Because uh, it prevents anybody from doing too large of an order without you having to like acknowledge it uh, and get some additional forms of authentication to protect you in case something happens. That was long-winded to say that if you're processing orders and it's over 5k, you need to get a credit authorization form filled out by the person with the card. Another phone call. Thanks for calling Monument. My name's Cam. How may I help you? Hey, Regina. Yep, yeah, all bad news. One more job that's, that's uh, extremely important as well, and then you're next on the list. Cool. Talk to you soon. We're turning into a... Sh 
I've been, it's, this is crazy, right? Cause, and it, I guess it's a good problem to have, but we're just getting so much, it's not that we have a lot of work, but we're getting more work than just Jesse and I can really deal with. The fact that we keep missing dates is stressing me out on a level that I just cannot express. And I have no solutions on how to fix it. And even worse, there could be a hundred people that came at me and told me all the ways that they were able to speed up their process. And I wouldn't be able to apply any of them because we don't have the infrastructure, we don't have the equipment, we don't have the help, we don't have the workers, none of it. I have to, from, this, from the point of view of this print shop, it's like I have to reevaluate the entire thing, tear it all down, but I, I have to get into a scenario where we, we have all the right equipment, we have the right systems, right, which is coming. That's step number one is the right systems. Once the systems are here, then we can start bringing in the equipment. I'm not focusing on any of that until the system is in place. I, I, the game plan is just re All right, uh, I'm back to this. So, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I just, you know, the standard on, on these we usually do is the left or the right, but usually on the left, so I'm just hemming it up. And then I'll place it in. And usually, I'll, make, I'll set the needle, just so I know where it's gonna be at. And I think the trick with this is making sure that it's not bunching the tag up underneath the foot. That's the that's just all you're really worried about. It's pretty straightforward other than that. Okay. And there we go. Again, dude, this is not the right sewing machine for this job. There are ones that are more efficient at it. But if you are just using a traditional sewing machine, you'll notice there's a point with the machine where the teeth, I don't know if you can see this, I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. The teeth are up above the plate here. And this that's gonna be the hardest position to get the, under, the tag position properly. What you wanna do is you're gonna use this to turn the uh, needle until it's touching. And when, when the needle is kind of at the midpoint, it's just where it's touching the foot here, these teeth drop down and it makes it easier to position the tag without, um, I don't know, without, without the teeth catching on it. I, uh, I feel like this may not make sense unless you've been trying to do this. Uh, but if you've tried doing this before, you'll understand what I'm saying. It can be hard to get the tag positioned properly if the teeth are catching. So you drop it down to where the teeth aren't catching on the bottom of this, and it's much easier for, for positioning the thing. There you go. What is this? What the fuck? And I don't know what this stuff is, because I don't remember ordering nothing. So, it's a very industrial gripper for your GoPro. So this allows you to mount your GoPro easily without having the permanent thing on the front of your lid. So, first you got El GoPro, then you got El Helmet. Dude, where's my sh thing at? Uh, but I do do silly shit. So right now, I lost, I was trying to get that little GoPro thing together to show you the helmet cam, and then I have, there's this little case that the GoPro goes on in, and I was clicking with it. I was sitting right here. Clicking with it, just fiddling, you know, fidgeting. That's what I do. Right here. And 
Now I can't find it. I've torn this place apart. I'm almost in tears because I, because I do not know the fuck I did with that thing. You swear you looked there. You didn't look right in that one spot, and it was right in front of you the whole time. Okay. GoPro, the fucking thing, opens the thing. I thought it was on this, it's not on this. You see, this is the problem, I thought it was on here. I open this, it's not here. This is my GoPro holder, it's not here. It just ain't no fucking way, but I'm checking again. You guys are missing something amazing. Where you at? Oh, she was standing on her back legs for. She can pretty much stand on her back legs as long as she wants. It's so cute. I'm gonna look in here again. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look in here again. It's right here. Oh my God! It's on the fucking thing, dude. I looked right at this shit. Right at it, dude. I got problems. We had a little digression, but we're back. GoPro, check. The thing that I looked for for the better part of an hour, check. Clip down on the helmet like that. It gives you a way to get the GoPro on here without permanently affixing anything to it. It feels pretty stable. It may not be the most stable way, but it ain't bad. You guys are like, hey dude, why are you uh, worried about putting a camera on a microphone? Hey, a shopping cart. Is this yours, Danny? Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you, I was gonna come get it. Oh, you're good. You, yeah. you can park it there. So this is a really clean way to do it, dude. You don't have to have anything permanent on your on your thing. It's easy to take off when you're done. Yeah, dude, this is a great solution for mounting a GoPro to your helmet. If you ask me, I don't know. I think I definitely think it's the best option. This is obviously a leash. You just wrap this leash into your connections like this. So in case it does fall off, it dangles. All right, Jesse's about to wrap up today. Anyway, gonna go take Gigi for a walk real quick, and then, I don't know. Gigi, where you going? Look at this. This is a dog on a mission. Let's get a picture of the sky. Come on, hang on, stop, stop. Yeah, look at that. Cool. Does not show up on camera very well. There we go. Look at that. Not a bad way to tie a bow on today. Thank you so much for hanging with me, Print Fam. That's it. We're going to cut it short. Say bye to Jeej. Take care of yourselves, guys. Peace out.